I uh, just want to do a quick video today just to talk to the educators and the parents um, about some activities they can do at home. I've got some videos on YouTube and I'll keep uploading the videos each week that um, give us exercises for the children. <laughs> Hello educators, families and children from Jigsaw Early Learning Centre. Um, I just want to let you know that Don misses you all and hopefully he can see you soon and we can get back to our classes and running around and jumping and having lots of fun. I uh, just want to do a quick video today just to talk to the educators and the parents um, about some activities they can do at home. I've got some videos on YouTube and I'll keep uploading the videos each week that um, give us exercises for the children. But I just want to explain the method be behind our videos just so you know um, why we do them and how we do them. Um, so you'll see on the videos that I do jumping games, monkey jumping games and motorbike jumping games. The reason why we do the monkey jumping game is to try and teach the children how to jump um, with two feet, a fluid jump, two feet over a hurdle and then on two feet. Um, so children from the age of about two and a half to four, or sometimes a little bit later, progress from a jump like this with one foot or jittery and then, and then like that, they progress from that to a two feet over fluid land. So the way we can um, fast track that or um, help them improve that skill is by giving them ob objects to hold in their hands. So here I've got two toilet rolls. So you just put them in their hands like that. Um, they swing, they swing. So all of a sudden their mind is on their arms swinging. So two and two, it's not going opposite ways, it's going the same time. And that helps with their feet going over the same time. So the method behind that is, is our mind is focusing on the same movement, not jittering. So you let them swing for as long as they want until their mind is on, the movement of two, two, and then when they jump, it helps them jump with two feet over. Okay, so that's one method. The other game that you might see is the motorbike game that I've been teaching the children. Um, that's sort of a, a game to help, uh, to protect the children. So when they jump from a high spot, from a fort or from the couch or from, um, you know, from anywhere higher than sort of above their knees, um, when they land, we want to protect them from banging their chin into their um, knees. So sometimes when they jump and they land, they'll bang it like that. So the way we teach them the correct way to jump from a high spot is with your arms out. So it looks like a motorbike. And then when they jump, it's harder for their chin to bang their knees, okay? So it's protecting them. So I'll show you. They're jumping from a high spot with their arms out. They'll jump and they'll bang their chin to their knees like that. So if we put their arms out, it gives us a barrier. So that's why we always teach arms out, motorbike, room, 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 jump, protecting. Much harder for them to bang that and it gives them more st stability. The other quick item that I want to show you, which has been really good, is um. We often use this big dice during our program. Don might use this, gives us different exercises. But lately, recently, you could um, buy a small one from Kmart for $4, which is really good. The reason why these are good is because it gives the children um, an object to hold, a bit of an interest to look, choose their own exercise or yoga move, and then copy it. Okay, so rather than us just saying, okay, everyone, let's do some planking now, we let the child choose, look, and do. And you might like to play a game where they choose one for you, and then you choose one for them, they choose one for you, so you swap. You give them a bit of responsibility. Okay, I'm going to be making some more videos, which I'll send to um, Jigsaw, which they can pass on. Stay safe, and I hope that Don will see everyone soon. Bye.